Choosing a computation method, lesson 11.11. .11. Computation, what is that? Well, computation is what we do to solve a math problem. We can compute a math problem by using different methods. Can you see the word computer comes from compute? And mental math, we can use that to compute if it looks easy. Models, we can use that for computation if we need to have help regrouping. We can use a pencil, pencil and paper for any of them. We can use a calculator if there's too many add-ins. And there's different ways we can add or subtract three-digit numbers. We can use a different computation method. A method is a way, isn't it? So these are different ways that we can find an answer to a math problem, different ways we can compute. Sometimes one way is easier or faster than another. Take a look at this one. This looks easy. And we can add this using mental math, can't we? We're just adding a 200 to a 124. We just add the hundreds, don't we? Because there's no ones or tens. So we could do that really quick in our head, couldn't we? That would just be 324, wouldn't it? That was an easy one. And we can use models to help us regroup. If we have to add 219 and 105, we have 200, 110, and 9 ones, and 100 and 5 ones. See? And we can regroup these. We can put these ones together to make a 10, couldn't we? We have 5 here. We can scoot these up. And we can scoot these 5 up underneath it to make a long of 10, couldn't we? See? Now we have 100, 200, 300, and 24. 324. We also could have used pencil and paper, couldn't we? And then regrouped the 5 plus 9 as a 14 and regrouped the 1 and put the 4 down and then added the two ones, couldn't we? We could have done it that way. But we could use models, too. We can use paper and pencil or a calculator. This would be a little hard to do in our head. It doesn't look like it's an easy one to do, does it? So we could do either a calculator or a pencil and paper. We use pencil and paper. We add the ones first, 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. We regroup the 1 and put the 6 down. We add the tens place, and I see friendly numbers right here. Compatible numbers, the 9 and 1 makes a 10, plus the 8 makes an 18. We regroup it, put the 1 up here and the 8 down there, and just add the hundreds. So would you use mental math or pencil and paper to add this one? Do you think you need pencil and paper to add that, or do you think you could add it in your head and use mental math? This is just adding hundreds, isn't it? 200 and 300 is like 2 plus 3 with a couple of zeros, isn't it? That would be 500. We could do that in our head. That would be mental math, wouldn't it? That wouldn't be hard to add. How about 50 plus 40? Would you have to use pencil and paper, or could we use mental math? Well, 50 plus 40 is 5 tenths plus 4 tenths. That's like 5 plus 4 with a 0, isn't it? 5 plus 4 is 9, and there's a 0 in the ones place. It's 90. So we could use mental math for that one. That was easy, right? Look at this one, 329 minus 189. Would you want to use mental math or paper and pencil? Well, some of you are really smart, and you could probably figure this out with mental math, but I think it would be easier to use paper and pencil. That way we can regroup it and see what we're doing, right? It's not as easy as these. We have 9 take away 9, that's a 0. We have 2 take away 8, and we need to regroup, so the 3 hundreds becomes 2 hundreds, and the 2 tens become 12 tens. Now we can subtract 12 take away this 8 is a 4, and 2 take away 1 is 1. See? How about this one? Could you use mental math, or would you need pencil and paper? Do you think you could do this one with mental math? Even though there's a 5 in the 1's place? Because we're taking away 0 10's and 0 1's, we just drop these down, don't we? And this is just 5 take away 3, so we really could use mental math for this one, and it would be 205. 
You could use pencil and paper if you need to, but when you get good at subtracting and adding, you could do mental math. All right? How about this one? Would you use a calculator or mental math if you had to, had to add 100 plus 100 plus 100? Which would be easier? Well, that's a kind of an easy one, isn't it? It says 1 plus 1 plus 1. That would be 300, wouldn't it? So mental math would be probably the best choice for that one. What about this one? Do you think you would use a calculator or mental math? Mm, I think I'd probably use a calculator because these look like more difficult numbers, don't they? We can also use pencil and paper, couldn't we? 2, take away 6. We need to regroup that 7 as a 6. So the 2 ones becomes 12 ones. 12 take away 6 is a 6. 6 take away 9. Hmm, we need to regroup again. So this 4 hundreds becomes 3 hundreds. This 6 tens becomes 16 tens. See? We had to do it a couple times, didn't we? 16 take away this 9. 16 tens take away 9 tens is 7 tens. And the 3 hundreds take away 100 is 2 hundreds. We have 276. So we could have used a calculator and that would have been easier, but mental math it would have been a little harder to do, right? Okay, let's see if we can do some problem solving. It says that we need to estimate to solve these. Now remember what estimate is, it's like an educated guess, okay? 96 people went to the carnival in the afternoon. 206 people went at night. So about how many people in all went? To the carnival. Well, 96 went in the afternoon, 206 went at night. We have to estimate. So 96 is really close to 100, isn't it? It's just a four away from 100. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. It's very, very close to 100. 206 is very, very close to 200, isn't it? So if we added 100 plus 200, that would be about 300, wouldn't it? It'd be really close to 300 people. So that would be an estimate. We're just finding numbers that are close that make sense. Okay? So now we figured there's about 300 people that went. What if 103 fewer people went at night? How many would have gone to the carnival in all? Well, we figured there was about 300 people. If 103 fewer people went, that's really close to 100, isn't it? So we could just take 100 away from this. 300 take away 100 would be 200. So it would be an estimate of 200 people. See how we found the number that it was really close to and just used that to do mental math? Okay? So that would be estimating to solve something. All right? And you could have used pencil and paper, but it wasn't really necessary when the numbers were so close to those hundreds, right? Okay. We are going to talk about word problems in the next video that sometimes have too much information that could fool us. That happens. They do that in word problems in math. And we, get, we have to figure out what information is not necessary. Okay? Hit the like button if I've helped you. And I hope I'll see you next video. Bye.